We are commemorating part of our history today. Kieser Kant, a Gold Star father and constitutional rights advocate who immigrated to the U.S. from Pakistan, says he sees parallels between the treatment of Muslim Americans today and Japanese Americans more than seven decades ago. Survivors of Japanese internment camps are among the faces in this crowd. They had faith in the goodness of this country, and later on this country recognized the mistake. All of that uh, is a heartening moment for Muslim community, meaning that there had been other communities that have gone through this unfairness and injustice in the past, but they have stood fast to the values of this country, to the Constitution and its dignities that are enshrined in Constitution. It's a Constitution he clings to and regularly invokes, first making headlines in 2016 at the Democratic National Convention in a speech challenging then-candidate Donald Trump. I will gladly lend you my copy. Khan has since traveled to nearly 200 communities across the U.S., saying he doesn't feel discouraged, but rather heartened by the many people he meets. We live in one of the best nation on this planet Earth. But not without a complicated and at times dark history. Wendy Watanabe says both of her parents were interned. You know, it's, it's very emotional. They had their lives ripped up, their parents' lives, everything that they had worked for. Watanabe and others here today say remembering remains a critical part of moving forward. Yes, we absolutely need to be looking at what happened in the past and trying to do something differently. Because of your sacrifices and courage, I say never again, never again.